welcome to Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. I'm Daisy Savage, and today I'm here with Steph Preisner, and her show is called Solpadine Is My Boyfriend. Um, can you tell us a bit about your show, please? Yeah, um, I wrote the show last year, and it premiered at Dublin Fringe Festival. Um, it's about, uh, it's been kind of described as the voice of our generation. It's about people in Ireland who, uh, who have emigrated, or who were kind of promised greener, greener times and better times when we were in school like I'm 25 and when I was in secondary school I was told like I'll go and do whatever job you want get a degree and whatever you want and there'll be loads of jobs and so I chose drama and then like you you, you yeah big mistake so you graduate and you walk out onto the street with your degree and you're like I have a degree in drama and everyone's like there's the dole office <laughs> like great so it's about um a, a girl who moves from Cork which is a, the second city in Ireland to Dublin um, and meets a boy and uh, he can't get a job so he emigrates and kind of about a country dissolving and mental health dissolving and relationships dissolving kind of through the allegory of Salpadine which is an over-the-counter painkiller which is dissolvable so that's kind of what it is and in Ireland we have had um, really big success um, and different like different times we do the show different aspects of it are highlighted so sometimes it's real emigration audience and sometimes it's real mental health audience and sometimes it's kind of the addiction audience um, so your show changes yeah, depending, on, depending on the audience that are in how are you finding the fringe so far uh, it's really difficult like it's it's really really hard to be away from home and um, as someone who has like always condemned people who emigrate and who abandon ship uh, it was it, it was very painful to walk into Virgin Mobile last week and ask for a ask for a UK mobile number, um, but yeah, it's hard to be away from home. And I'm really interested in there's other Irish people over here as well who I'd be friends with on Facebook, and you meet them on the street and they're like, oh my god, it's so hard, I can't do this. But on Facebook, we're all having a ball and everyone is like winning awards and at these amazing parties and like really in real life, we're actually just crying in the corner, being like, please help me, please come to my show, it's really good. So if you were to write another show for next year, what do you think you would base it on? Um, just specifically for Edinburgh Fringe? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of interested actually in the mediatization of how like something like the, the lives that we portray in social networking and how they're not at all yeah. like what, what our real lives are like. Um, and how there's an awful pressure to keep up the the facade of like my life is great I'm a playwright I'm a performer like people in Ireland know me and over here people know me too and because if you put up the if you put up the oh my god I'm really struggling I've just fainted and hit my face and now I have a bruise people are like oh my god she's such an attention seeker but like some ways you know you're in a city that usually holds one million people that now holds two million people and sometimes you are just looking for attention you know it's just like please I'm here and I'm good and, and it's worth it and please just just give me some attention for so please come and see <laughs> your show <laughs> the show actually is selling really well um, now now we've been here a week word of mouth is spreading and we have these publicity things which are uh, they look like Salpadine but they're actually our, our flyers and they have polo mints in them and so these are uh, doing really well around the city and people are loving it so um, things are picking up and your show is at 12.30 12 12.30 12 at Underbelly Topside um, which is a new venue it's really really cool and uh, there's some other great shows on there as well so if you don't want to check out Salpadine check them out because they're really really good yeah. great well thanks very much for talking thanks to so us much. Thank okay you. thank you